Hello, I'm Sean, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of a foil, take a look at the components, and a little bit about how it works. Uh, so, starting with the different elements of a foil, we've got a tip under some tip tape here, which I'll get to in a minute. We've got the blade, we've got our guard, we've got a bayonet socket, more on that in a minute, and an insulated grip, so that way if you're fencing and you touch the end of the grip to your lame, it doesn't ground out your entire weapon because if you had an uninsulated grip on a foil and you did this into your lame that's actually a red fencing t-shirt, this guard would become target and if someone hit you on the guard, it would register as a valid touch. So you use an insulated grip on a foil and you want to make sure that you can see here that the paint's starting to wear off. It's not a real big problem, but it's something to keep in mind that eventually it may not ground out. But we'll start with looking at some point parts. So I've got a couple different examples down here and the big difference to be concerned with is French versus German. So we're going to start with the tips and if you look at these you'll notice that the one, this one has holes in this little sleeve here. This is a French tip as opposed to the German tip which just sort of has a groove. So the way this actually works differently depending on whether or not you have a French or a German point setup. With a French setup the screws that you use actually go straight into, they screw directly into the sleeve. There's no, the, there aren't any threads on the barrel, it just screws directly into the sleeve. With a German setup it'll actually screw into the barrel and then just pin the sleeve. It doesn't thread onto the sleeve. So instead of screwing into it, you just have a couple of nails in there, essentially. And it has, it has the same effect. So when you're putting together a tip, you've got a contact, which is what you've got on the end of this wire here, on the inside of the barrel. And you've got the spring that sits in the contact here. And then that go, the spring is inside the barrel, and the tip goes in there on top of that. And then you screw it together, and then this will maintain a circuit until you push it down. And then when you push it down, the screws that are in the sleeve um, push the sleeve back, and it breaks the, the contact between the barrel and the wire. So that's what happens when you have an off target. If you hit valid target on a lame, it will push down and start a circuit going from the tip into the lame of your opponent and you have a valid touch. So you have all of that inside the foil and you'll notice we've got red tape on here. Um, as I've mentioned before, the blade is actually part of the circuit. So what can happen if you get a touch on a lame and your blade bends, if there's contact between a different part of the lame, which is conductive, and a bare metal barrel, which is also conductive, the circuit can go from the point through the lame back to the blade and come back down the blade as if it were just operating normally, which would not give you a touch. Therefore, you've got tape on here on the barrel and the, the um, maybe about this much usually on the blade, it depends. Um, yeah, about, about six inches. And then, um, and that allows you to register a valid touch without it getting shorted out through the lame. So underneath that we've got the wire running from the, from the barrel all the way down the length of the blade. Hopefully you can see that. And here it runs into the uh, grip assembly of the blade. So on the other side of the guard, we've got the, sp the spaghetti wire on top of the original wire. And that comes out and runs into the socket. Now this is a bayonet socket, which functions by having um, the B line down in here, and then this outer metal part, uh, plate is the C line, that's the ground line. And so you have a bayonet body cord that looks like this, 
that plugs into here and then twists to stay in there. And it's a pretty good method of keeping it in there. You see there's no wiggle at all. And then if we look at the test kit, you'll see that the test kit is lit just normally. It stays on. If we were to push down the tip of the foil, the light goes out because the circuit is broken, but there's no lame to conduct it to. If I push it down on the lame clip, we get a green light as it goes from the hot line, the B line, to the A line, which is the lame line. Um, otherwise, right now, because it's a, it's a closed circuit, it's running down the B line and then into the barrel and down the blade into the C line, which is on the bayonet socket. And so the other way to do it is we have a two-prong socket, which looks kind of like this. So this one's the B line. You can see that there's an insulated sleeve on there. Well, hopefully you can see if the camera will focus. Um, and then the, the other one is the C line. And then we've got a two-prong body cord with a clip that clips onto here. And electrically, everything works the same, but you see that this can move a little bit, which can be problematic sometimes. So you'll extend your arm and then off target, and it can be really frustrating to deal with. So I like bayonet a little bit more, but two-prong is, is simple and easy to understand um, and a little bit cheaper. So it, it comes down to personal preference. Uh, I think bayonet's a better, better design, but it's a little more complicated. It's, um, I'll talk a little bit more about it in a body cords video that I will make a little later. But right now we can go on to testing. And so if I can find the weight, um, you'll see here we've got the red light is on, which is the first step. And then we'll take the 500 gram weight and put that over the top. And you, you need to not have too much tip tape on the top here that you can't fit the weight on. That's something that happens every once in a while. If someone gets a little overzealous with the tip tape. Try not to do that. And, and so we put the weight on there, we push it down, and the light should go out. And then we release it, and the light goes back on. And just like that, we should be good. So that's all I have to say on foil for now. We can talk about lames perhaps in a later video. But for now, that'll do it.